Hi, I'm Stephen Manley, the CTO for EMC's Data Protection and Availability Division, and I'm joined by... Beth Phelan, Vice President of the VPlex and RecoverPoint Business Unit. It's a smart move not going with the, the, the extended title there. Yeah, I went for the short title. Good call. So, so Beth, you know, you're, you're, you're sort of new into, into sort of the Data Protection and Availability Division space. You're, yeah. you're the reason we renamed. Um, I've, been, I've been doing the backup game for a long time. The world's changing, though. Uh, things, software-defined data centers, and everything's much more virtualized. You know, how, how do you see that that evolution in, in, in that space really affecting how people are protecting their data? Um, there are so many things we could talk about because there are so many ways that it affects how people protect their data, and it opens up a ton of opportunity. But today, especially, we want to talk about the introduction of RecoverPoint for VMs and how that's going to allow V admins to set up DR configurations and protect their data in a way they've never been able to before. That's interesting. All right, so, 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 I'm pretty comfortable with the the RecoverPoint product. Yeah. Right? It's 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 been you know, a big seller for us for for quite a while. Yeah. Now, when when I think of RecoverPoint for the VMs, what are I guess some of the differences between traditional RecoverPoint and, and this new product? I mean, the biggest difference is that it's 100% software, that it runs entirely in the hypervisor environment. It's managed entirely through vCenter. And the second biggest difference is that it's completely storage agnostic. So you can use it to protect your applications no matter what kind of storage they are relying on. SAN, DAS, vSAN, file, block, it's all protected through the same recover point for VMs. Well, that's interesting. So, so, so then does that imply not just that I'm protecting it regardless of that, do I have to buy EMC storage though on the back end to be able to store the protection copies or, or how does that work? That's part of the beauty of it is that there's no specific requirement for what storage is on the back end. So whatever your environment is, it may be completely um, DAS environment, you still can use RecoverPoint for VMs to protect your applications. Okay, so, so my primary copy and my replicated copy are both on really whatever kind of storage that, that I want to use. Exactly. Wow, that, that's kind of neat. So, so that, I mean, that, that plays in a lot with, I think, a lot of what we've been talking to our customers about is, in the backup space, we talk about really two big challenges. Uh, yeah. The first one has always been uh, visibility, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so often it feels like you know, the protection copies are under the, the hold of, of the backup team. And the way you get in contact with the backup team is you file a ticket, mm -hmm. you send an email, mm -hmm. or you, know, you, you, you throw a rock through their window with a little piece of paper saying, I need this, this data back. Yeah. And that feeling of disconnectedness has is, is, is been a challenge. So, so I think what I heard you say is this gives more control to the VM admins now? Absolutely. So now the V, the, the v admins are able to set up their configuration entirely in the environment that they work in every day. They don't have to request someone else to do it. They can go in, they can, within vCenter, set up the um, applications that they want and immediately request that it now be protected with RecoverPoint. So it's entirely within their control. It definitely takes out a lot of the, um, the organization and the steps. And in, in the process itself of establishing uh, disaster recovery is, is extremely quick. It can be done in minutes. And it's actually, um, it's really impressive. So, so, so within that, now, am I talking about I do one VM at a time, one by one, or, or I, I know one of the things people always love about RecoverPoint is, is really the ability to create these larger consistency groups and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. How, how does that play out in this VM environment? Yeah, so that's just one of the many attributes of RecoverPoint that comes forward into this new environment. Um, some of the other things that you will continue to be able to use are um, the point-in-time protection. So no matter what happens, you'll be able to roll back in time. If, if someone um, either inadvertently or on purpose affected your data, you can, you can roll back in time to the finest granularity, which is, which is extremely cool. And you also can take advantage of the um, WAN optimization that comes with RecoverPoint today. So when you are doing long distance replication, you can get uh, significant bandwidth optimization using RecoverPoint for VMs. Which, which is actually a really cool thing because, again, if I think of a VM admin, you know, they may not have a bunch of experience with the networking team, and, the, and, yeah. and I've found that the, the less you use of the yeah. network, the less likely they yeah. are to come yell at yeah. you. Yes. Okay, so, so, so that all makes sense. Uh, I, guess, I guess the next question I'd have then is, you know, from the point of view of recovery, because you, you mentioned there are these multiple, you know, sort of, I can recover to, to multiple points in time. Mm. As the VM admin, 
you know, do I have to go to a different user interface to, to, to go trigger that? Or, or how, how does that sort of feel, feel for, for, for me to, to, to pick that up? Um, the, the intention, and certainly what I've seen when people have used the product, is that it, it comes very naturally within the, the um, VMware management that they're using today. So it's still it's totally integrated within vCenter. There's no separate recover point GUI that they have to go to. And it's completely um, neutralized into what they would expect would be their experience. Right. And, 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 then, and then I'm guessing that you know, given that we're talking about this at a VM level, I can roll back or recover any VM independent of the others. Absolutely. Which is, which is really cool given that in a lot of cases I see the VMs are on shared storage on the back end, which brings huge value. Yes. But the ability to roll back or recover any individual VM yeah. So that's, that's yeah. a big win. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I think that as more and more people are thinking about their IT infrastructure from a VM-centric view, that's how they want to do data protection. Right. That's what comes naturally now. And so as we go forward, we'll expect to see more and more of our capabilities VM-centric or application-centric as we move into the software-defined world. Right. No, it makes it makes a ton of sense. So, so. Basically, for me, I'm looking at this is this is brilliant, right? This is this is why we brought you into the division. This, <laughs> this is this is this is the next generation, and 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 uh, I, for one, am hugely excited. And uh, yes, well, thanks I. for spending the time with us today. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're welcome. We're we're all extremely excited, and and this is just the beginning of what we what we can do together. Cool. Well, we'd like to thank all of you for joining us today, and on yeah, behalf of thank Beth, you very much. Yeah, appreciate the time. <laughs>